Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and I'm here to do the Gnome Dyes Tiki Add-ons assembly video. So I'm starting with those, along with our Girl Gnome Dyes, and ignore that. It's supposed to be the Boy Gnome Dyes. I grabbed the legs. I don't know what I was thinking. So first I'm going to put together the Tiki Torch, and I'm using American Crafts brown cardstock, along with, a, with Paper Tray Ink dark chocolate cardstock. Um, Barely Arts glue, my reverse tweezers, working on a Stampin' Up pad. This is American Crafts silver foil. And then I'm going to add Doodle Bugs dot stripe, but in the little orange piece there for the flame. So super cute tiki torch. And there's the little flame, so cute. And there you have your tiki torch. Next, I'm going to put together this really cute little pineapple that is Harvest Gold Paper Train cardstock along with New Leaf Paper Train cardstock, and this is Gingham Linen on the Gingham side from Rainbow Petite Prints from Doodlebug. There we go. Adding on the little top, and then I'll add that to my Black American Crafts little uh, base layer. I use that for my base layer with the hands because I find it easiest to line up when I'm working on a white background. So that's why I use it. Just a lot of contrast, and I will weight it down in between. I'm going to pop up the little hands cut from P13 Stamping Pad Skin, skin Tones from scrapbook.com. You want to get on the restock notice for that if you want it, because they sell out so darn quick. There we go. So cute. Okay, next I'm going to put together this little coconut drink. So first, cut out of American Crafts, black cardstock, then out of Paper Trank, white cardstock. There we go using my Barely Arts glue, which I'm actually really loving with a little needle tip, lots of fun. Now the little straw and the little umbrella were both cut out of Doodlebug's dot stripe, dot for the little umbrella, stripe for the little straw using pink and teal, there we go. The little coconut was cut from um, American Crafts brown cardstock, there we go. And then I will pop up the little hands again with Stampin' Up Dimensionals and P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. There we go. And just a really cute little coconut drink. Isn't that sweet? Okay, next I'm going to put together this little word Aloha. I cut it out of um, Doodlebug's dot stripe in the teal and then, then the pink. And then I notice, oh darn it, I can't do my trick that I use with all my build booths because the letters kind of overlap, but that's okay. I'll use my little, um, you know, shadow layer. And I'll just line up everything using that. It was very easy using my reverse tweezers. And there we go. And you'll see that that teal layer was cut out of the 12 inch dot stripe from Doodlebug. There we go. I kind of, you know, interchange those. There we go. So super sweet. I'll add that to my black layer. That's cut out of American Crafts black cardstock. There we go, and then I'll pop up the little hands, that same hands, P13 Stamping Pants Skin Tones. I don't know if you get sick of me saying what everything is, but that's what it is. I'm gonna pop those up. Now, if you can't get it, you could use any skin tone cardstock you have. It'll work. Now I'm going to put together the little hat, exactly the same thing that I used for the little um, pineapple um, to hold. So Harvest Gold Paper Tray Ink, New Leaf Paper Tray Ink, and then this layer, is Doodlebug's Gingham Linen. And I did use the gingham side. I just find it gave a neat little texture pattern to this brown layer for the for the pineapple. There we go. And that little needle tip on the Barely Arts glue came in handy for that one because it is kind of delicate. And I'll weight that down. Now I'm going to add that to the top of my boy gnome. Remember, you always start with the beard. Now I'm adding on his hat. His beard was cut out of American Crafts Brown cardstock. Adding on the hat. And isn't that cute? I do realize I didn't trim that black off perfectly, but you know, you can go back and fix it. There we go, isn't that cute? Now I'm going to stick down the uh, little mustache cut from American Crafts cardstock. I do overlap the hat always a little bit, and then I'll pop up his little nose with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And that is that same P13 stamping pad skin tones that I use. There we go, and he is a cutie. I need to add his little feet though. That same P13 stamping pad skin tones again. I hope that you guys are enjoying these uh, gnome assembly videos that, that I make. I do them for every release when we have a gnome. 
There we go. So if you get stuck on a piece, you know, you can refer to it. Okay, so for this little gnome, I wanted a black beard and I did edge it in white daisy ink from Close to My Heart. And it's just a white pigment ink. And then his hat was cut from Nina Desert Storm, 80 pound cardstock. And then I'll overlap his little mustache. I find that that white edge um, allows, you know, because sometimes when you use black cardstock, you lose the definition of your lines, right? You can't really, everything looks just all blends together. But that little bit of a white highlight gives a little bit of something, right? Now I'm going to pop up his little feet with um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals. Same thing, P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. Isn't that cute? Now he's holding a little pump, a little, uh, I was going to say pumpkin, a little pineapple or a little drink. Isn't he cute? Okay, next I'm going to put together this adorable hibiscus flower. You could use it on whatever you like, but I'm going to put it on these little gnomes. So I cut it out of blush doodlebug cardstock. Oh, well, first paper drink white cardstock, blush cardstock, and then the dot stripe and that hot pink on the dot side. There we go, I'll add the little stamen. Isn't that cute? I did the same with the yellow, um, but I used yellow uh, doodlebug gingham linen on the gingham side. Oh, isn't that sweet? I just think it looks gorgeous. So I added it to his little hat. Now I'm putting together the little um, grass skirt. I first cut it out of doodlebug's gingham linen on the, on the linen side. Then I cut it out of new leaf cardstock from Paper Trank. And I wanted to layer them. You don't have to do this. It's just what I decided to do. There we go. Remember, you always start with the dress with the girl. Now, I cut out the little bra with Doodlebug's dot stripe on the dot side. And I did cut the top of the dress with um, that same P13 stamping pad skin tones. I wanted a little bit of skin there. You don't have to do this. You can just add it to the green. But I wanted it. This, I just wanted a little bit of uh, skin tone up there. This is Leanne being crazy. Now, I'm going to trim off underneath where that little bikini top is and then I'll add it to the green. This is not a, like not a necessity. I just really wanted to do it. I couldn't help myself. Okay, so I'll stick it down. Isn't that cute? I'll add her little face. Same P13 stamping pad skin tone. There we go. Her little hat was cut out of the uh, Doodlebug's floral graph. And that same kind of citrus color from Doodlebug matches the underneath part of the grass skirt. There we go. So cute. Now I cut out little braid, her little braids were cut out of American Crafts black cardstock this time. First I'll add a little bit of glue under the hat there. I didn't get it glued down as well as I'd like. Remember the hair always lines up underneath the hat, right along the edge. There we go. And then I do add little tiny bows to her hair that was cut out of the dot stripe in that hot pink again. Because why not, right? Oops, there we go, I actually, pop up her nose first. Then I'll, now I'm going to add the little bows on. I don't know if you can hear my cat is snoring next to me here. So he's making all sorts of noise. There, I'm using my Studio Catty embellishment wand to pick out those tiny little bows. And I'm going to pop up that hibiscus flower on her hat, because why not, right? Oh, she's so pretty. There we go. And now I need to pop up her little feet, the same P13 stamping pad skin tones that I've been using. There we go. I just think she's adorable, isn't she? Now I'm going to add the little coconut fronts to her top, American Crafts brown cardstock. You don't have to do this. You could have left it like a bikini top if you like, but I decided to add the little coconuts because why not, right? Isn't she cute? So darn cute. Now I'm going to put together this little tiki god head. I think that's what it's called. There we go. And I'm going to add the little mouth that is cut out of that dot stripe from Doodlebugs. Petite prints. I believe that's the 12 inch one though, the 12 inch paper line. Now I'm adding on the teeth. So that so the head itself is cut out of American Crafts cardstock. The teeth is paper trank white cardstock. The little pink piece is Doodlebugs dot stripe on the dot side. I like to keep in the same tones because then that way everything matches when I'm making a card. Okay, now I've got white paper trank cardstock for the little areas around the eyes. There we go. Oops. And then I'm going to pop up the little nose with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals, the mini ones. And this is new leaf cardstock, the same as the little grass skirt. Because, you know, I'm trying to pull in all the same colors. 
And then I'm going to pop up the little hands from that same P13 stamping pad skin tones. Using my reverse tweezers, kind of, you know, as, you, as usual. I just find it easier. And isn't that cute? I might add little black pupils to that when I make a card, but you know, that's your choice. And isn't this the cutest? Look how cute they are. So many fun, tropical looking cards that you can create. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jaded Blossom blog, be inspired by the team. Um, you know, the Jaded Blossom store to maybe get your hands on the Gotta Have, gotta have It Now, or if you're watching it later, to the, you know, to just buy it a la carte. Um, after the, you know, the hop, um, everything goes a la carte and you can buy thing, you know, things one at a time. Otherwise, um, you know, you've got to wait if you're watching this, like on day one, obviously you've got to wait unless you get the gotta have it now. It's just the way it works. Um, but there we go. I just think that this is a super cute little tiki add-ons release for the gnomes and lots of fun, you know, for your summer cards. And that is also, thank you so much for stopping by and make sure you come back and watch my videos in the future. Bye everybody.